Here are 10 really weird Apple accessories you can get for all different types of Apple products. If you love Apple and you like the weird, let me show you what I found. Welcome back to the channel. So what we're gonna to do today is I'm gonna go through 10 different kind of weird and wacky products or unusual products that are gonna be Mac or Apple accessory products. Now, it's gonna, it can cover Macs I'm gonna cover, it can cover AirPods, it can cover the Apple Watch. Just if you have Apple products, these are accessories that are kind of off the beaten trail. Maybe a lot of people don't know about these. Some of them I'm gonna start with are a little bit more common and then they're gonna get a little bit more wacky as it goes along, just some kind of fun novelty stuff. All this stuff will be in the video description. If you wanna check them out yourself, you can just click on them and check them out. Some of them are a little bit more expensive, but most of them are very, very inexpensive and they're just kind of fun little gifts and stuff. So if you like Apple, you like accessories, check these out. I don't have them all here. I'm just gonna share my screen and show you what's available. I do this a lot. It's just showing people, just sit back and relax. Instead of you going out and trying to find these, I found them and I'm just gonna to point to them and say, hey, this is available. I wouldn't buy all these myself, but they're kind of fun. So let's get into the video and I'll share my screen here. Number one, let's go. So number one, if you see on my screen here, this is actually a stand and you can see it here. It's by Hagibus and I actually had done a video a while back on a hub like this. It's very similar. And the cool part about this hub though is it incorporates into the stand. You can see it here. So you can put an iMac on here. You can actually put a Mac mini below this um, and it'll slide right in that slot. But this little piece comes off and inside of here, this is basically a hub. But in that hub, you see you can put either an M.2 or a full three, or two and a half uh, SSD in there. So two different drives, that's huge. So the cool part is it's 139 bucks, it's a little bit steep, but if you want that kind of clean look here, you can see a little bit closer up here, you can see the two drives in there. Um, it does also come with a whole bunch of ports. You can see here, it's got um, the uh, SD card, two sizes, USB-C, USB 3.1 uh, Gen 2, and then USB 3.0, so a whole bunch of ports. Cool, you know, kind of device here. I think you can get it a little bit cheaper. I've seen it like this one over here. I've seen it as cheap as about $119, so look around for it. Around, you know, that $100 to $120 price range is good, so that's number one. All right, so number two is gonna be for kind of the Nintendo lover. So if you have an Apple Watch and, you know, you, you basically wanna be able to charge it, but you wanna have a cool device, take a look at this. This is the Elago W5 Apple Watch stand. Make sure it's compatible with your watch here. But it's a basically, it's a little, you know, it looks like a little Nintendo device, handheld device. You can see it on up close here. And uh, long story short, it comes in some different colors too. You can see black here and, and, and you know, gold and white and stuff. Long story short, those allows you to slip in your Apple Watch for charging and then the, the screen on the Apple Watch will light up, kind of like an alarm clock. You can see it here if you look at my screen. So if you look at this picture, here it is. It's basically made out of a rubber material and it has this kind of, let me see if I can get back there. It has like a little circle in the back so when you do charge your watch with that little device that you charge with, you can slip it in the back of that. So when you put it on this, it'll charge all day, look cool, sit on your stand. So something cool, $15.99 here. Go ahead and check that out. I'll have a link in the description. All right, the third one is for kind of iMac lovers, and this is almost the exact same thing. So look at my screen over here. This is a little, this is kind of the first iMac that everyone loved with the little colors. You can see it here. So take a look at this. On the left-hand side over here, let me go ahead and click on this, and let me open this up a little bit bigger so you can see it. So this is the actual stand here. Your watch slips in there. You can see it right there. And this is obviously the actual iMac from a while ago that people love, this kind of blue color. So you slip your watch in there just like the last one I showed you, and, uh, and then your watch can turn on and show the time and stuff. Looks like a screen on a computer. Computer, sits on your desktop, really cool, and also the charger goes in the back of it so it can charge the watch at the same time. $12.99, a very inexpensive thing for people that love kind of the old iconic IMAX. Pretty cool product. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. All right, number four I thought was kind of cool. So if you, if you own an Apple Watch and you don't want it to get damaged, you basically can buy this little rubberized shell for it. You can see it here. It's $11.99. It's by Elkson, and it's basically compatible with a whole bunch of different series of watches. They come in different colors, but basically it, it goes on the front and the back of the watch so you don't get it banged up. It also protects the shell so you don't scratch it. And uh, you can see it here, it still allows charging to the back of it with this picture here. And then when it's put on the watch, you can see how it looks there. So it looks a little bit more rugged, I guess. Um, but it does fit with the watch band and everything like that. Only 12 bucks. So if you know you're gonna be maybe hiking and going somewhere where you're gonna maybe mess up that watch, this is a good thing to slip on during those times. I think it's a kind of a cool gift for people to have this. This is obviously maybe more for a man. They do have some other colors in here. They have green, which looks cool. They have a blue. So I'm guessing, you know, there's a pink actually for, for women, I believe. There's different sizes. So check that out also. Kind of a cool gift, maybe a stocking, stocking, stocking stuffer. 
All right, the next one is actually very similar. So if you have an Apple Watch, but you actually like the G-Shock, you know what the G-Shock is, right? Take a look at this. It basically comes with the band and also the case, and it looks just like a G-Shock. So you can throw in your Apple Watch in there, take a look at it. It comes in a whole bunch of different colors as well. Um, it comes in clear and then pink. But the thing is, as you can see, it just slips in the back here with this picture here. And uh, it's just rugged. I mean, again, it's for people that like that kind of G-Shock look and stuff. So if you're looking for a watch that's kind of, you know, going to be a little bit different than everyone else's Apple Watch, you may be more rugged again, going hiking a lot and stuff like that. You don't want to come across as having that kind of very sleek look. Get this thing. It looks pretty cool. It's going to protect it really well. And the best part about it, it's like, what, $17, so not too bad at all. All right, the next one, there's a whole bunch of these. I'm only going to show you one of them, but, I mean, there's a whole bunch. Look them up. So if you have... Uh, you know, AirPods and you want a different case for them and you want something very unique, not just the white standard case that you always see. Take a look at this, $10.98. Check this little Doritos case out. So it looks like a little bag of Doritos. It's got a little carabiner on it. It opens up here and you can see that your AirPods slip right into it. So you can see a couple different pictures here. You know, obviously it's some kind of a novelty. You can see how big it is there. Um, and again, it's something that, you know, you have to know that you want that. Obviously, there's different, there's different like, you know, there's Tatitos, I think. There's a whole bunch of different, like, food things you can buy. I think there's one from Starbucks and stuff. So if you like these kind of little novelty cases, 10 bucks. Maybe you know somebody that likes this kind of stuff. Check them out. They're kind of fun. You know, something different that nobody probably has. 11 bucks is not a lot of money. So if you like it, definitely pick it up. All right, the next one's more for the Christmas season. And again, this is very inexpensive. It's under $10. Let's take a look at my screen. So if you want a charger that's kind of festive, take a look at this. This is gonna be a charger for your iPhone and it's gonna have Christmas lights connected to it and then you plug it into your computer. So obviously, you know, you can plug it into your car or something like this. Take a look at this video here. And if you do that, you're gonna see that the, the light, it'll light up your car basically with these lights. Um, you can do it on, you know, this person has it on a piano, but I can imagine just doing it on your desk at work or something during the Christmas season. You can kind of string them around your, you know, your computer and then charge your phone at the same time. So just a little novelty if you like Christmas lights and stuff like that. Ten bucks, good, good for Christmas. Like I said, stocking stuff or even light it up in the morning for somebody while it's in the stocking. Kind of a cool idea, right? Check it out. I'll have a link to it in the description. All right, the next one's kind of, again, a novelty thing. It's basically just a wall charger. You can connect base, your USB connections into this thing to charge your phone or charge any of your devices. Let's go ahead and take a look at it, though. What it basically does is, it, it, there's nothing special here. It's, what is it, 13 bucks? Um, let me go ahead and turn the volume down, but it's basically gonna be the wall charger here. You can see it right there. But at nighttime, it's gonna glow in the dark, kind of this radiant kind of glow that you see there. And uh, the reason I like this is because, you know, obviously it's, let me see if they show it actually glowing. There it is right there. So the reason I like this is if you're charging your phone at night when you're sleeping or something, it has two purposes. Not only number one, it'll basically, you know, you can go ahead and know where the plug is in the nighttime, but number two, it can almost work almost just like a, uh, a night light. So if you want a night light like that and you want something that's it's going to be a charger at the same time but like a little bit of light in your room this is a good thing and what is it 13 14 bucks not a bad deal um, again a novelty a lot of people probably won't have this I'll ask questions about it but if you like it you like it pick one up all right the ninth product's a little unusual it's a little bit more expensive it's about 80 bucks so if you're someone like me and I don't have this actually but I might get one but you like mechanical keyboards so a lot of people like the Apple keyboards but let's say you just like mechanical keyboards and typing on them Come over here. So this is going to be compatible with a Mac. This one's actually by Keytron, and it's, it's going to be you know highly rated. I, I've, I've seen a lot of reviews on this. I've actually used this before. 4.6 out of 5, so it's one of the best. It does have, you know, over here, it's going to come. Let me go ahead and click on this. Let me click on this one here, but it's... I can't get in there, but it's going to have the control and the different option keys for the Mac as well. So you can see it here. It's got, you know, basically saying that it works on a Mac right here. So the only thing that's different here, it's got the brown switching. It's got white LEDs. It's, you know, it's got the backlight of all the LEDs and you can change it different colors and everything. At the end of the day, the reason you pick this up though is you just like mechanical keyboards and you like the Mac. So if you want to interchange those two things, this is a great option. It is more expensive, 80 bucks, because it's a quality piece of hardware. You can change out the keys that, you know, you can change out the key caps all that kind of stuff. Um, again, this is Keytron, and uh, it says, let me see here, it's Bluetooth as well, so obviously no cords. Check it out, 80 bucks, let me know what you think. And then finally, the last one, number 10. So let's just assume that you have either documents, not really, but let's say you have some Apple stuff, right? Like your MacBook, maybe your watch or your phone, and you have a house. This is a little bag you can pick up. Check out my screen over here, $37, and it comes in a couple little cases here. Maybe you can put your phone in here and you can put your MacBook in the bigger, you know, the bigger area there. 
But you know, if there's a fire in the house and there's some, or even some water damage, this thing's both waterproof and it's a fire deterrent. It says, I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't say too much on it. I think you read it, it says it's a good up to like 2000 degrees for so much time, but hopefully it's enough where it can protect your equipment if you actually are in a fire and it won't burn up your MacBook with all your data on it. So if you're traveling or if you're not in your house a lot and you wanna just put something in a secure place for maybe flooding or so there's a leak something, or if there's a quick small fire, you know, smoke damage, this bag will work really well. So it's $37, you can even put your other, you know, your other, it's big enough where you can put your other case inside of this and protect all of your Mac gears. So I just thought it was kind of cool. I mean, obviously it's, it says right actually fireproof up to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. So they do a little couple of test videos and stuff, check it out. But I don't know if I trust it in a full fledged house fire for like two hours or something. But if it's gonna be something quick where you might get a little bit of damage or something gets spilled on it or something and you wanna just keep something very, very safe, 37 bucks is not a lot to pay for that kind of, you know, when you're spending $3,000 on a MacBook. Let me know what you think in the comments and let's move on. All right, well, thanks for watching. So that's all this video was, it's just some wacky products. I hope you guys like these kind of videos. Um, they're all in the video description if you wanna check them out. I don't, you know, again, I'm not reviewing any of this stuff. This is the main thing of my video is I just show people what's available. I do not do reviews on this. Sometimes I do, but I need to have that stuff in-house when I do it. So let me know if you guys like these. I think, you know, I, I would like them because I just like finding all these wacky products out there. It just, you know, I, it makes my day to see like the Doritos thing and stuff like that. Just kind of fun, you know, with the world going so crazy with, with everything going on in the last two years. Sometimes it's fun to, to laugh a little bit at some of the crazy products. We'll talk to you soon. Until the next time, maybe in a couple days, peace.